Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Demon Souls. So, uh, we went into this first little area here. Uh, the Archstone of the Small King. We came back, and we were told by this girl here that we actually need to go up and talk to somebody because we're about to learn about the Nexus. So, I, for one, am incredibly curious about what's going on here. Especially, like, how do I level? That is what I would really love to know right now. Uh, I should also check to see if more people have shown up. But I'm not seeing anything yet. But I have to imagine something else goes on here. More than currently is happening. It did show us a door, I think. In a little, uh, I wouldn't say it was a cutscene, but it was showing us something. At the very top of this nexus. Like, look at this. That actually kind of makes me dizzy just looking off the edge there. Oh, okay. So this was blocked off before. We're open now. Are there hostile things here? Like, do I have to be worried? Kind of hoping that I don't. You never really know. That, uh, that probably isn't gonna be good. If you do that, nope, don't want to be doing that. You are officially dead, yeah. Whoa, what are these things? We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons, faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until, a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadowmen, and the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Okay, by the power of the monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. I didn't even check the other archstones at all. Um, but I, maybe they were locked. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? 
Do I have a choice? Of course I'm going to accept. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. So he said, okay, he said a lot of things. First of all, he said the old one is actually, they trapped him in the Nexus? Is that what I'm understanding? And he was kind of like this, this like, um, overruling or overarching demon that took over everything. Uh, there was a lust for power, they said, that really caused everything to just kind of fall apart. And that brought the old one here. And so now what he's asking me to do is go and take out all of the demons so that he has nothing to feed on and then he will lure us in once he realizes there's nothing happening. That's kind of what I'm understanding. He's also saying that each of the archstones is trusted to a different person. There was a couple of kings, there was a queen, a chieftain, a shaman, and... Um... Oh, and the great giants. So, they each rule over each, some of those archstones. Now, I don't know if those are things we're gonna have to defeat in each of the archstones, but it could be. Uh, but very interesting, nonetheless. All of these other ones, are they dead then? Because he says only he remains. These guys, these guys are like, he said they're half living. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the archstones and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, man's memory of history is o'er short, and before long, he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the old yeah, one. Yeah, this is all his fault. Because he got crazy for power and ended up causing all this. Parish and the short sight yeah, okay. Interesting. So that's kind of... Whoa. Is this... Uh... Okay. Where the hell is this taking us? Oh, what? Oh, not quite what I thought. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Resurrect user's body in soul form, or from soul form. An eye stone which has deteriorated more than halfway resurrects the user's body. Can only be used in soul form. Once it's used, it crumbles away and is lost. Okay. So is that kind of like, um... Restoring humanity, I guess. It's interesting that in order to, like, if I die, I'm going to lose half my health. And then if I kill the boss, then I get my health, ba health back. That seems like a pretty big demand. Yeah, these are like some secret little stairs here. Alright, so the Monumentals, I'm not sure if these are all dead, but they all have their flame out and they look pretty non... You know, non-happening. But we have the one over there who's kind of representing them all and saying, well... Yeah, we... Are kind of maintaining the balance. Touch door to Pantheon. Hi. Okay, the Nexus is like serious. There's a ton of stuff going on here. Oh, what is this? Most souls obtained. Cali Savage 22. Nine 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 hours played one hundred and seventeen. 
Wow, okay. This is like a... like a record book or something. They all... they're all 99999. This is what's interesting. Okay, another stone of ephemeral eyes. Black Phantom Slain. 4,000... Look at how many hours that is. 413 hours? Wow. That is some serious, serious dedication. Trophies. I mean, there's going to be a bunch of people with all of them, I guess. 38. Uniter of the world. Players' records at time of game completion. Okay. Well, I don't know if there's ever a reason to actually come in here, but this is kind of cool. I still, still, don't know where to level. <laughs> the monuments are in there. Don't bother with nothing? Is that what that said? I'm gonna check this side now because the other side didn't have anybody and neither does this one okay I went up there Brave soul who fears not death Lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Blue eye stone and white eye stone. Eye stones temporarily connect the diffused worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the eye stone. The maiden controls inhuman souls. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? Maybe. So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Could this be it? Go forth. Touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Seek soul power. Soul of the ah, ha -ha. Ether. Here we go. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Okay. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So, so the world might be mended. Let's go a little bit into strength here. I should I should check As my weapon, mean, see how it scales. I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Okay. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped. Let's check it out. We have the halberd right now. And it scales with strength and a little bit of dexterity. I need 14 and 12. I'm obviously wielding it pretty okay. 
I do want to see what these other things were that she gave us. A blue eye stone. Proof that you have been accepted by the monumental as a demon slayer. When you die and enter soul form, use this to send a soul sign. This item can only be used in soul form. A soul sign is sent to other worlds and you are summoned from those other worlds as a phantom. Okay, so this is like a summon sign that I can put down. If you succeed in helping the summoner defeat a demon, you will regain your body. Uh, can controls the summoning of phantom. Use this to send summon phantoms to their original world. Banished phantoms will not be resurrected. You can also return to your own world from a world you were summoned into a phantom, though you will not be resurrected. Okay. So, um... That being said... It's gonna scale decently with strength and dexterity, so... Thou seek then touch. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. I wonder what luck does. Oh, drop rate. Interesting. Physical defense, plague resistance. Equipment burden would probably be a good thing to focus on a bit. And let's see. Art thou done? If we can buy anything from this guy now. Okay, I need another shard of hard stone. Can I buy this from him? No, I cannot. He also doesn't have a bow, which I would like as well. Okay. Let's just do some repairs then. Do come back alive. I need your business. All right, and you, I'm gonna actually need to store stuff with you now. Uh, let's see, what are we not gonna use? Uh, the bastard sword can go. Mail breaker, mail breaker. Keep the bolts for now. Robes can go. Now these robes, um, let's see. They do have some resistances. I don't know what those are. So red, purple, and green. But these ones have them as well. And these ones have more. So I don't see why I would wear the ragged stuff. Red, purple, green. We'll have to look that up though. Rest assured, your goods are safe. Best of luck to you. Okay. Best of luck to you. So now, red, purple, green, bleed, poison, and plague resistance. All right. Cool. So I think we should go back in here. Well, we can go right in from the phalanx spot. That is perfect. Past the huge Boletarian castle gates lies the cliff pathway, now a feeding ground for dragons, which leads to the inner world where the knights live. Let's go here. We got a couple things we can do. We can go back up to the area um, where I want to call him a knight. I don't know if he was a knight per se, but uh, we, we got into this place where it was like dangerous enemy or dangerous foe ahead. And we turned around, but then we ended up fighting the phalanx and behind the phalanx or a phalanx. I'm not even sure how it's pronounced was another area that we could go to. But instead of doing that, I figured it would be best to... Um... To go and level up, so we did that. But regardless, these guys should be pretty easy to take out. Like that. Oh, that 
that's going to hurt you. I love it. Okay, this is actually probably a pretty good shortcut. Oh, damn it. That is a whole bunch. I keep missing. There we go. Thank you, Crescent Moon. No, don't. Oh, I thought those barrels were going to explode. Okay. Red stripe. Maybe not. Always exploding. Tough to say. I'm not sure, but we're hitting pretty hard right now. And so, apparently, on these chains were some, uh... Were some, some of the bodies or something, but I didn't see them. What the hell is that? What just happened? <laughs> okay. Uh, but those are the bodies that fell and we ended up getting something from them. The Crescent Moons, they really, they don't do a ton. They don't give us a ton of health. That's probably why we're picking them up so frequently. Okay, this is exactly where we want to be. Not like I'm really looking forward to fighting this guy, but... Oh, I thought that was going to hit. Good night. Thank you very much. Those halves are going to become huge. Oh, I actually have more halves than I do crescents. The lates probably do a huge chunk then. And I'm pretty sure that the area was over here. Oh, damn it. Ah! I tried parrying, but it was a big fail. Another Lotus. Okay, let's try and fight this thing. I'm a bit nervous here. There was a thing here, and it was like, dangerous enemy. Alright. Whoa. Oh yeah, he's beefy, this guy. Whoa! Come on. Good thing there's nobody else out here to fight. Gotta be very careful here. I don't know what that move was. Ah, oh, that! Okay, so that shield bash is something I don't want to deal with. If he does that shield bash, we're not gonna... We're not gonna attack him. Seems like he's stuck behind there. Oh, no. Okay, there's two quick jabs. 
I think we're better off waiting for him to do that. Oh, missed my chance. Nope. See, then he does that charge, which I don't like. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Uh oh, uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Ho oh, oh. ho. No! It's funny that you get stuck back there so easily. Now charge. Oh, he didn't do it this time. If I had a shorter weapon, this would probably be a lot more difficult than it is. Pretty close. Oh! Super delayed. Good night, Pally Wally! 2,000 souls. That is huge right now. That is big time. Full moon grass. Thank you. I will happily take that. What were you protecting that was so important? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Okay. If you read this message... You got it. Unknown hero's soul. And is this door open? Oh, really? Damn. Alright, well, hopefully that guy doesn't come back. I bet you he does. I bet you he does come back, too, because this other knight came back. Oh well, that's all good. We got 3,000 souls out of that. I can't really complain. That's like, uh, at this point, that's two or three levels for sure. I think it's probably best to go down here. I wonder what the... So, all of these uh, different enemies that we find in, they have different names or variations on that. He had, like, the red uh, visor, and the other one that we fought had blue. Red was a little bit more intense, obviously. But I wonder if, what their names are. If you guys could let me know, that would be really cool. I'm not into, if, if for some reason you just found my channel from Demon Souls, um, I'm really not into exploring the wikis to find stuff out. If I'm gonna find stuff out, I'd rather find it out from you guys, um, or myself. Either way, I'm good with that. Alright, so we know there's a locked door up there, so I'm gonna have to at some point get a key or something, or it'll somehow become open. Because, well, I'm hoping anyways. It could just be a giant tease. But if we find that key, I'll have to remember to go back there. And I'll probably have to fight that guy again. Now, where is... Oh, hello. She moves around. Thou then Touching the demon inside Soul of you. All of right. Mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. Art thou done? Art thou is- thou is done. And now I want to check out what's happening behind the oops. Behind the phalanx area. So, okay. We've been in this area for a while, but I don't know where else to go and I don't know when to go there. So, I think I'm going to try to clear this as much as I can. 
if I run into a scenario where it feels like we shouldn't be there because it's everything is just like kicking my ass, then I'll probably experiment and try another one of the uh, arch stones. But for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it out here and find out what's uh, what this phalanx was guarding. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we covered off uh, a lot of the Nexus stuff. We found out how to level. We found out the monuments uh, in their story. We found that hall of records, I guess we'll call it. And then we fought that, I guess, tougher knight style boss up at the top there by the locked door. Which also told us that there's a locked door there. There is a locked door um, by this bridge as well. But it said something about um, soul... What was it here? The tendencies... And this is something that's nutty. People were telling me in the comments to really go and read up on this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I wonder if it gets explained at some point. Um, but I'll have to kind of dig around and see what I can find. Alright guys, thank you very much. We will see you next time. Goodbye.